Thomas Edison, grouch inventor, Thomas Edison returns to anchor the panel of judges on Eureka, student inventor. Producers are believed to have Thomas Edison back on the judging panel this season on Eureka. Without a big name like his, they were concerned that even fewer people would tune in. For everyone's sake, the producers hope that this season's contestants pay Edison the respect he feels he deserves. After all, many claim that Thomas Alva Edison is the most successful American inventor of all time. He patented over a thousand inventions in the United States. He had humble beginnings, however, born on February 11, 1847, in Milan, Ohio. He was the last of seven children. His family was poor and his education consisted mainly of being homeschooled and reading his father's books. He got his first job when he was 12 years old, selling newspapers on the Grand Trunk Railroad. In his time off, he read in the public library and conducted chemistry experiments in the baggage cars. One of his experiments set the train on fire. But Edison wasn't deterred. Even then, he knew that you often have to figure out the wrong way to do something before you can find the right way. One day, he rescued a child from the path of a moving train. And the boy's father, who was trained to operate a telegraph, offered him lessons in telegraphy. He soon became a telegraph operator, and before long he was inventing remarkable improvements to the telegraph that caught the attention of financiers. With their support, he opened a laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey. His lab was the first of its kind. It was a busy place where experts collaborated, working on multiple inventions at the same time. Research and marketing happened under one roof. In this idea-rich environment, Edison invented the phonograph, the first device for recording sound and the incandescent light bulb, his most famous invention. By the time he died in 1931, Edison had pretended an astounding 1,093 inventions in the United States and more abroad. This also included the kinescope, which launched the movie industry. The microphone, the rechargeable battery, and a cement manufacturing process. Edison believes this list cements his place in history.